some sauce on there. A little bit of rice. My what? Favorite drink in Malaysia, right? <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, dude, it's extremely popular. Now, I'm not even sure when you can eat nasi lemak. I think you can eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> like, it's not really like a, a dinner food, a lunch food. People just eat it whenever. Hey, look, look who's here. What's up, man? Yo, what's up? How's it going? Pretty good. How's it going with you? This is authentic nasi lemak. Only thing that's missing is peanuts. Usually, like, really? Normal nasi lemak, but I like some peanuts, yeah. He has, he has some work to do. Ambassador was busy, you know, I was doing some politics and stuff, you know, a lot of phone calls, <laughs> a lot of stuff. And then they're like, come last minute, but I was like, for you guys, it has to. It's Nessie Lamont time. You gotta get hyped, you know. Chris and I have been riding the beam scooters all over the city. It is seriously the funniest thing. Uh, it's really nice because you get a breeze, you get to get around really quickly. It's super cool. Yeah, I love it, man. And it's cheap. So cheap. It's cheap. We, we, what did we just? We did a 15 minute ride right now for like 11 ringgit, like, like two bucks. Yeah, two dollars. So crazy. And it's really quick. You just open the app, start the thing, and then once you get off, you just take a picture and it's done. Super cool. But yeah, so I don't know where we're about to go. So right now we're in an area of the city called Kampong Baru, and this is like the oldest area of Kuala, of Kuala Lumpur. But there's this street specifically. I don't know what the street is called, but it's this one right here in front of us. Oh, it says right there, Jalan Raja Muda Musa. But this street is like a food street. It's super popular for street food and they have one of the best Nasi Lamak places in the entire city, in my opinion, in here. So today, you're gonna try your first Malaysian dish, bro. Sweet. Nasi Lamak. Nasi Lamak, okay. And let me just tell you, it's one of the most incredible dishes in the world, so <laughs> you better be excited. All right, the prayer's coming on. We'll put the camera down, right? Okay, see you in a sec. This place is super beautiful. I love that you can just look off into the distance and see all of these massive buildings. Over there in the corner is, um, I think the, the, what is it, the second tallest building the in the world? The second tallest building in the world, yeah, Merdeka 118. Merdeka 118, amazing. And then there's just all these huge ones. And you can look at the actual like tops of the building sometimes, and you can see that they have like pools and there's even trees up top. It's really crazy. And look right there, those are the Patronas. Oh man. Yesterday we walked under those, filled with like an awesome mall. I, I wonder if at some point we'll cross through the that connecting thing between the two. Oh, through the bridge, through the sky bridge. I've actually never been up there, but we should go. Okay. We should. Yeah, we can hear off in the distance there's a prayer going on in the mosque. It's super pretty. Um, I'm not really sure what they're saying, yeah. but... But yeah, this here is the famous Kampung Baro Street where all the street food is right now. It's kind of dead because it's a nighttime thing. You come out here at night and man, it's a crazy place. But um, the restaurant we're going to right now, I'm not sure if it's 24 hours, but it's open at like two in the morning and it's open every time I come. So this is a cool spot. Open. Yeah, it's nice. There's a bunch of little shops. Yeah, you'll see ladies like this or gentlemen like this selling snacks. Maybe you cool. should get a new bag here. I should, I should. Yeah, so. After we get done eating. Okay. Yeah, this is yeah. pretty sweet. I haven't actually been to a, like an actual shopping market here. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a bunch of slides, um, bags. I love traveling with a like throw over because it just, all my stuff is accessible right here. If I have my passport in the airport, I can just whip it out, throw it back in. Super convenient. Yeah, look at these <laughs> little tiny, little tiny baby crocs. Oh my gosh, they have pop sockets on backpacks. Crazy. Super cool, we've got Naruto, we've got some Disney stuff. <clears throat> I love that everything is just hung up bottom to top. Typical Asian markets, they always just like throw in as much stuff as they can into every single shop. And it's funny, a lot of times the like the store owner or whatever will just be like, like sitting within the piles of stuff that they have. Like they might even be sitting on a table. It's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, that's super cool. <laughs> it is cool to see. So man, this the city's uh, impressive, huh? Yeah, man, oh, it's wow. amazing. It's, it's a little, it's further down. Oh, okay, for sure. We have a laundry mat here on the left. <clears throat> Fortunately, the room I'm staying in has its own laundry machine. Chris, I actually started um, a load of laundry, and when it finished, everything was still wet. So I hope when I get back, it's dry because I don't know how to work that thing. No, no, no. I don't think it's a dryer machine. It says wash plus dry, oh. and you can choose to wash it, and you can choose to dry. You, you know what's funny? Every time I'm in a, every time I have a washing machine in an Airbnb that says wash and dry, it never works. Really? Yeah, it never works. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope my I stuff dries. Why. I have like six hangers in there too, so I might just have to make that work. But yeah, why oh, whoa. A little bit further up the street, but look, you can tell the contrast whoa. in the side of the city. 
Dang, look at that. So I, I don't know if that's the case here, but I've heard in a lot of countries when they put the houses up on platforms, it's because they would have floods. And so when like all the water would pass through with, you know, all the mud and stuff, um, the house would be just sitting on top just fine. Oh, we've got some street food over here. That looks bomb. I can't tell if that's like fish cakes or spring rolls or, or what. Um, to be honest, I, I really haven't tried very much Malaysian food at all. Um, or at, like even if I have other places, I didn't know at the time. But um, yeah, I guess nasi lemak is one of the most popular Malaysian dishes. So I'm really excited to try my, mer my first food here in Kuala Lumpur. Takoyaki. I'm still getting used to the, the cost of everything. So what is it? It's every five ringgat is one dollar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five okay. is for, for every five for one, yeah. Five for one. But yeah, yeah. All of these places are closed right now, you know? It's like everything's closed, everything's dead except Wanjo's. Like this city, this part of the city comes to life after sunset. But this here is Wanjo's right here. Oh, sweet. Wanjo's Nasi Lamont. Wanjo. What is it? Kempung Baru. Kampung Baru is like the, the area? That's where we are right now, yeah. Okay, sweet. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so we have dine-in and takeaway lines. And then as you walk in, oh yeah, it's definitely popping. There's a bunch of people here. This is a cool system. It's kind of like, a, reminds me of a cafeteria a little bit. Looks like you just walk yeah, through the line. Yeah, you kind of like walk down the line and then they just kind of throw an egg on there. All the ingredients, whatever you want. Sweet. Look at this, so we've got fried eggs, hard-boiled eggs. What is that? <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know what a lot of this stuff is. Oh, wow. I think that's like tempa. Is that what that oh, is? I'm not tempa? sure, bro. I have no idea. I just know that there's rice, anchovies, cucumber, egg, a protein, and then a sauce. Okay. The big king of rice. Hello. Hello. Can I get um uh, one with this one? Chicken sweet and sour. Which one's this one? Chicken sweet and sour. Which one's the most popular one? The most popular one. Which one's the most popular one? Okay, I'll take this one. I feel like I have to do that too, right? Most popular dish? Yeah, or you, you can try a different one. They just all have different um, seasonings on the chicken. Okay. Yes. Oh, Thank wow. you. What the heck? That looks crazy. Thank you okay. so much. I'll do the same thing, please. Uh, yes. Yes. Press okay? Yes. Um, uh, is there anything else I should try? Oh, this is good. Okay, terima kasih. <laughs> That's the only thing I know how to say so far, which means thank you. I hope. All right, well, this is pretty quick. Look at this dish. Oh, thanks, man. I can say already that it looks delicious. The meat seems like it's, um, like it's tender. I see there's a bay leaf in there, which is um, not common in all parts of the world. And like, it's, I feel like we have it in Filipino food and um, I guess in Malaysian food too. We've got the anchovies here, the cucumber, just a water. Milo ice. Yeah, I get you Milo ice. Milo ice, okay. So what does it cost per plate? I'm not sure. Thank you. Okay, my Thank you so much. Thank you. People here are so friendly here. Every time I say something in Malaysian, I get a, a nice smile. It's definitely warm in here. Well, so I need to get a like a fork or something. Super excited to try this. Yeah, I'm gonna go look for a fork. Let's see. Water thing here. Where do we get forks? Oh, here we go.
Got a couple of forks and I don't see knives. I think that'll have to do. Maybe I should get a couple spoons just to be safe. Excuse me for grabbing them by the top. I just only have one hand right now. Looks like Chris got a couple fans over here. Okay. So this restaurant looks really nice. It's um, nice and clean. You can tell it's super big. There's plenty of space, lots of tables, and it's, let's see, it is 1.52 p.m. and it's packed, so it must be a popular spot and a good time of the day. Um, you can see that there's Malaysian flags. I actually never knew what the Malaysian flag looked like before I came here. And yeah, it's, it's interesting. This one has a different layout, but it actually looks, the typical flag shape, looks a lot like an American flag, so I think yeah, that's pretty interesting. I feel like I should wait for Chris to get back before I start eating, but I'm super anxious. Let's see. I actually don't even know how to eat this. Um, if you're watching this and I eat this the wrong way, definitely let me know in the comments so I can come back and do it the right way. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go for it. Maybe prepare my bite. It's kind of hard with one hand. Do I need to flip this over? I'm able to cut through it just with a fork. Pretty tender. Yeah, it looks good. Get some sauce on there. A little bit of rice. My what? <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, you already got forks. Man, now I already so many more. <laughs> it's all good. Oh my gosh. It smells chocolatey. All right. I guess, hopefully Chris can tell me how to eat this because I'm just gonna mix it all together, try to get a little bit of every flavor on here. There's some sauce. All right, I've got some meat, some sauce, some rice. Is there a certain way to eat this? Yeah, with your hands. With Oh, seriously? That's how the locals do it. Yeah, oh, the locals shoot. do it with their hands. I don't do it with my hands, to be honest, because then I can't get the color like out of my hands for a minute, but. Yeah, everybody seems to do it with their hands. If you look around, yeah, people eat it with their hands. Okay. But there is a lot of tourists. There are a lot of tourists here. This place is super popular now. Cool. All right. Well, I got meat. I got anchovies. I got some red sauce and some rice. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. You coming? Dude, that's bomb. It's good, huh? It's a little bit spicy, but that's bomb. Yeah, it's hella good. It's one of my favorite dishes in the world. Wow. Ooh. Oh, nice guy. Thank you. Yeah, dude, it's one of my favorite dishes in the world. Like, one of my favorite dishes. It's hella good. Uh, it goes well. So the, the nasi, I think nasi means rice here in Malaysia. And oh, I think that the rice is, man, I'm so bad at this, guys. Don't kill me in the comments, but I think <laughs> nasi is rice, and this dish is super popular because it's coconut rice with the um, the rondon chicken. Okay. Rondon chicken. But Solo is almost here, oh, and sweet. he'll explain everything. That man knows <laughs> all of these dishes, but it's crazy good, huh? Mm-hmm. A little bit spicy. Yeah, but I like the spice. It's bomb. I can see why it's so popular. Oh, dude, it's extremely popular. Now, I'm not even sure when you can eat nasi lemak. I think you can eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> like, it's not really like a, a dinner food, a lunch food. People just eat it whenever. So what's this? Chocolate milk. Oh, Milo. Straight up. Milo? You never had Milo? No. What? I mean, I've had chocolate milk before. Okay, yeah, it's chocolate milk. It's comparable to, um, it's comparable to Nesquik. Okay. Right? Look, look who's here. What's up, man? Yo, what's up? Brother? How's it going? Pretty good. How's it going with you? <laughs> it's pretty good. 
What's up, bro? Wow, you guys are eating the nasty lamak, I see. First time, man. First time for me, at least. How are you enjoying it so far? I'm loving it. I like the spice. Uh, the chicken nice and tender. Pretty bomb. And I'm a huge fan of anchovies. I'll eat, I'll eat anchovies straight out of the can. I'll give you mine. <laughs> yeah, I'll take them, for sure. The only thing this nasty lamak, the authentic plan, this is authentic nasty lamak. Only thing it's missing is peanuts. Usually, like really nasty lamak, but like some peanuts. Yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. But I think the reason that they don't have it over here is because uh, a lot of people might have like peanut allergies. That's what I'm guessing. I see. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. That's awesome. Dude, yeah, it's super good. Are you gonna eat? That makes sense. That makes uh, sense. I actually just ate an hour ago. I didn't know you guys were eating that nasty lamak. If I knew that, I would have avoided. Well, to be honest, yeah. this wasn't really in the plans. Right. We just woke up late. Let me tell you guys something. The nightlife here in Kuala Lumpur is amazing, and we stayed out till like three. We stayed out until like three in the morning. We stayed out until like three in the morning, uh, drinking beers, and then Brad and I <laughs> literally like zoomed around the city on bean bikes until four in the morning, huh? Yeah, so fun, dude. Dude, we crossed the whole city. We drove through like, yeah, everywhere in the middle of the night. It was awesome. It was actually it was really fun, but it was also really sketch because. Holding on to those things when you have a water bottle in your hand is so hard. Yeah, I've never been out like that late at night. And like, what? Well, not like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., no. <laughs> things definitely definitely closed, but we found a place that was like about to close. Yeah. Um, but they knew Chris, so they, they still let us go in. The and, mask uh, is. Is there a shawarma place? They were about to close, but the guy was like, yo, Chris, this is my dream. I watch your videos. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah. Awesome. It was Super really cool, guy. Oh, super cool guy. So what do you think about like, have you tried out the sample sauce? I don't think you like dabbled on the sample sauce. I have oh, that's bit. the sample sauce? Yeah, yeah so uh, let me describe for you guys. I should have been with them. Sorry guys, I <laughs> was out. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's giving you guys excuses right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was <laughs> contemplating not coming. <laughs> it's always what, it was what really happened. He was contemplating not coming, but he showed up. All right. No, it wasn't like that. It was, um, he, has, he had some work to do. Ambassador was busy, you know, I was doing some politics and stuff, you know, a lot of phone calls, <laughs> a lot of stuff. And then they're like, come last minute, but I was like, for you guys, it has to. It's Nessie time. You gotta get hyped, you know. There's no better time to come. Now, you live here all the time. Like, is this, do you eat this all the time or what? Uh, I, like, in this place in particular, or just in general, like? Like, in general, you eat Nessie Lamak all the time or? I'd say I would eat it like maybe twice a week. Times a week. Oh, wow. Pretty quick. It's really good. The price, the price is great for somebody. How much is this plate? I didn't so, even check. Uh, I think it was like, I believe with chicken it becomes like 13, 14 ringgit, which in US dollars. Oh, about like, two dollars fifty. Yeah, around two dollars fifty, three dollars. Yeah. Wow. For all this food, a whole big plate of like coconut rice, egg, anchovies, spicy sauce. It's really worth it. Wow. Oh, the only thing this place is missing. Oh man, I'm spiced out. The only thing this place is missing is a, it's a couple air conditionings. Sample. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Wait, take a big bite. You're saying this is a sample stuff? Sample. 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 Mm. I don't know if I pronounce it anymore. Yeah, sample. Okay. Is that what's spicy or is this this? This, spicy. I don't think it's too spicy, but that, that's where the spicy No, I think the sambal is like uh, sweet and like sweet. Sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy, yeah. And it just complements everything so well. Yeah, it's super good. And then when I get some spice from here, this cools it off. Nice. You never had Milo before. Oh, you never had Milo before? Yeah, first, oh, okay. First Nazi Lamak, first Milo. I mean, I've had chocolate milk, but... I've had my first Milo with you. Oh, really? Nice. Last year, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, actually, that video actually went like pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it um, a Malaysian thing or like an Asian thing? Or... Malaysia, it's from Australia, but Malaysia, Brunei, Philippines—they love it. Probably okay. in Indonesia too. Yeah. Indonesia too. Hmm. Yeah, never heard of it. It's like the national drink unofficially. <laughs> mm. This guy showed me something last year. <coughs> tea Tarek. Mm, tea Tarek. Mm. That, that, you guys that is bomb. Try it out, but, but, yeah. is it, it's a tea? It's definitely <coughs> top list. I like, because in Malaysia, there's so many different types of drinks <coughs> and like uh, food, obviously. Like, the oh, drinks are on some other levels too. Like, Tea Tarek. It's, uh, Tarek means to pull in uh, Malaysian. 
I'm sorry, yeah, Malayu, it means cool. So basically they take tea with condensed milk and then like mix it all together and they just like, yeah. Cool. I'm okay. so dead. <laughs> that that sample got, got him, guys, that oh. sample. <laughs> No, I went down the wrong pipe. Oh, I'm <coughs> You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. I think I like inhaled a piece of like coconut rice. <coughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in Brad video. <laughs> God. Well, where's your mile at? You got coke, what is that? Coke Cola Zero? No, I'm just joking. It's probably healthier than mine. I can't go with the whole Milo, <laughs> man. Too much sugar for me. Not saying this is better, because it's not, but you know, sometimes you need a nice ice cold soft drink after a night of drinking. Dude, I love I love sweet drinks. I love boba. I haven't had boba here yet, and I, oh, I'm no starting way. to see that there's a lot of boba shots. Oh yeah. Dude. I love my sweet The thing drinks. about Malaysian people is they love drinks. I feel like Malaysian people would rather drink stuff all day long than they eat. I well, can see them. One. I don't know, they love the food here too. Though. Yeah, they love the food too, huh? Yeah, big foodies over here. Which is awesome like about Malaysia, like in general it has Chinese, like Chinese Malaysian food and like they fuse a lot of like fusion. Like, food, like the Chinese spices, like the Malaysian taste, like it's crazy. And then the Indian food. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, definitely. I think food is my favorite part of just travel in general. Culture, yeah, Going new places, learning the culture, but trying all the different foods. I would say so. All right. Well, that was my first Nasi Lemak. Thanks for introducing me, guys. This was awesome. Also, my first Milo. I have to say, I'm going to give it a uh, 9 out of 10. <laughs> I don't know what that scale is for yet, but it's pretty high up there on my, my favorite food. This is pretty bomb. I can, I can totally see myself coming back. Oh, it's awesome. good, man. Yeah. Next time if you come back, try the chicken randall. Chicken randall? Yes. Okay. That is chicken randall. No, no, this is another one. No, it's not chicken randall. She told us it was chicken randall, that the other one was a dip, uh, was another one. No, I think she got a little bit confused. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know my, I know my nasty so <laughs> This is the randall. No, the randall is the one with like, the one that uh, looks like brownish kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna finish this meal and um, he's gonna have to just watch us eat. We'll see if yeah, we okay. we'll get like a shake or something. <laughs> for sure. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Remember to like, subscribe to help support the channel and uh, have a good one. Thanks,